Hello guys, Crafty here, and today I am going to be bringing you Soul Forge. Now, uh, this game was recently kick-started, uh, so I actually uh, kick-started this game, and uh, I decided uh, this, I got this, uh, uh, I believe it's in closed beta right now, but uh, it's on the iPad, uh, coming to Android devices, and on to Steam. Now, I got a closed beta key because I kickstarted the game, and this is Soulforge. Now, uh, I actually messaged Stoneblade Entertainment on Kickstarter and asked them uh, if I had their blessing to do some, uh, record some gameplays of Soulforge to get it out there on YouTube, which I'm sure there's probably other people that have done it already, but I wanted to be polite and uh, do the right thing and ask their permission, and uh, happily, uh, to me, they said yes. So, uh, today I'm going to bring you uh, a one player versus the computer. Uh, two player is only hot seat right now, I think, pretty sure. Uh, tutorial, I've already gone through the tutorial a while ago, uh, so this will be my first real game, so I'm gonna put it on easy, just to give you guys the basics of the game, and so I don't embarrass myself uh, in front of you guys by losing to the computer, but that's probably going to happen anyway because I haven't played this in a while, but uh, I just want to give you guys the basic gist of the game. Um, this is created by Richard Garfield and Brian Keebler. Kebler? Keebler? Whatever. Um, Richard Garfield, as some of you may know, uh, basically created... basically? No. <laughs> he created Magic the Gathering, and Brian Keebler is a prolific player in the community. Uh, if you do not know who he is, look him up. Uh, there you have it. So let's play this shit. <laughs> um, basically, Soul Forge is another deck building game. Uh, yeah, deck building if you want. It's free to play as soon as it hits. Um, as soon as it hits uh, the market, basically. But uh, it'll be free to play, pay to get booster packs and all that stuff. So it's one of those kind of games. But the whole premise of the game is uh, you and your opponent start with 100 life. Uh, your opponent and you have five lanes here to look at. Uh, each turn, you pick two cards to play from your hand, put them into the lane you see fit, and then discard your hand, draw five new cards. Uh, for every card you play, it actually replaces it with a better card. Um, if I can bring this up here. There we go. Um, each card has three levels, basically. One, two, and three. When you play a card, um, say I play this in... Uh, well, that's actually a bad idea. Uh, creature, okay. Say I play this creature here. Uh, four attack and six health. <coughs> level one. If I play her, she'll go into the lane, and her level two card will get tossed into my deck. Uh, that's basically the gist of the game. Uh, if you play the level 2 card, the level 3 hits the deck, and as you can see, uh, the cards get better as they level up. So it pretty much comes down to um, controlling lanes and seeing what your opponent basically has. Uh, the first player to go only gets to lay one card, but everybody else gets to lay two. So this is a 2-2. Two -two. When you play Technospect, you may discard a card and level it. So he already has pretty much a level 2 card in his deck. <coughs> Damn. Uh, so this is in his deck as well. So it's an 8-8 eight, eight in his deck and a 2-2. Two, two. So 2-2 two, two currently on the field and he's pretty badass when he gets here to... It's... It's good. <laughs> um, what happens is when you put a card into a lane, uh, they automatically fight themselves. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do here is take a look at this. She's a vanilla creature, nothing special, just a 4-6 beat stick. Um pretty good. I am thinking of the Life Shaper Savant right here. Zombie Infantry, Vanilla, Vanilla, Vanilla. Eh. A lot of beatdown, though. Um, and Defender and Def... Holy shit. Okay. Breakthrough is basically Trample if you play in magic terms. Um, damage excess of opponent's creature is dealt to the opponent. Um, I kind of want to get that one into play. Uh, Grove Huntress. Let's see what this does. Uh, have target creature you control get plus one to attack, plus one health. Eh. 
can't really do these right now, unfortunately. But I will play Life Shaper Savant here. And I mean, I really, really, really want to get this guy going here. So uh, for future turns, I'm just going to have his ass over here. So we battle. So now what happens is all cards attack. Uh, except they have summoning sickness, pretty much. So. <laughs> all right. Oh, direct damage and a lot of bad stuff just happened. Um, I don't think I can really comment on what just happened, but uh, one was a direct damage spell that did four damage to my creature, killed it, and pretty much debuffed my creature here, unfortunately. So her four is now a negative one. So this asshole is just going to beat on her until she is dead. Now, shit. <laughs> I have another Life Shaper Savant, thankfully. Um, she actually... She does pretty decent stuff. Um, so, Call of the Weak. Destroy one target level 1, level 2, level 3. I really want to get that going. Um, but she doesn't deal any damage at the moment, so she's kind of pointless to keep alive. So I'm going to keep her there. Um, Devour. Gets plus 1 attack and health when a creature's destroyed. Creature's destroyed. I think I'm going to put him in. What's a Flesh Fiend do? Vanilla. Level 1 Flesh Fiend into this lane. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> and the Huntress again. Um. Got an idea. Got an idea. Okay, you're definitely going in because she's going to die at some point. <laughs> Um, Cole of the Week, I really, really, really want to get the level 2 of that out. But I also want my creatures to come out too. So I think I'm actually going to put in a Life, Saver, Life Shaper Savant. Another one. Uh, put her here. So these two are going to battle again. Bam. Just going to beat on it till it dies. He'll get pumped when she dies. So let's see what he has in store. Okay, lowered his health by one, I believe. Okay, let's see what just came in. Two damage to target creature and opponent controls. I think did it here. Yes, because this got pumped when she died. Um, played it in a fresh lane for six vanilla. All right, so my turn. All creatures. Ugh. All right, vanilla. Destroy. That's pretty decent. <clears throat> get five health when I play her. Eh, not too useful yet. The Hydra's actually pretty good, I believe. <clears throat> uh, regenerate. Let me read this real quick. Start of each turn heals one damage from itself. Okay, so if I would play it in this lane, it would... Uh, no, not yet. It might actually survive... <clears throat> Four, six. Damn, I don't really have very good options. Put a copy of it into an adjacent. Like, shit! <laughs> well, that didn't help. Oh, you uh, dick. Alright, well, that kind of screwed me. Cavern Eye just pretty good. Um. It can regenerate, so we're going to toss this little bastard over here. Get health. Eh. These two can trade. And he'll die. Or... I do kind of like this guy. Let's destroy him. Alright, so let's battle here. Bam, four damage straight up to the face. They kill each other. Uh, good to go, good to go. They'll kill each other next turn unless he's got something up his sleeve which he might uh, let's go yeah I figured is it first strike? he does not, I don't know why he died I really can't tell because I don't know what half these fucking cards do um <clears throat> hopefully there will be like a graveyard you can look at at some point um, cause this is a beta uh, and it's destroyed a creature and opponent controls and in this lane gets minus three attack minus three health Cool, I could kill this guy off 
That's kind of nice. I like that. That deals with higher level creatures. Uh, they'll destroy each other. I, I kind of like that idea. When it's destroyed. Yep, so it'll basically kill him. Because um, he'll have to attack. Let's see here. Zombie infantry. What do you do later on? You do absolutely nothing. Okay. Eh, Flesh Fiend, what do you do? Hmm. Kind of cool. Bone Reaver, though. Pretty sweet. So I'm going to toss that sucker over there. So battle. Dead. You get hurt as well, and you're dead. Okay, so that worked out pretty well for me. Now, level up to two. Yay. But he also has his level twos out as well. Mutual kill and a scout drone. So now I can play level twos and he can play level twos. Um, play an additional card this turn. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. Another cav. I don't have any of my level twos out. It's kind of annoying. Um, two vengeful spirits again. Another cavern hydra. Oh, another zombie infantry. I'm not really doing very good on cards here. Uh, I do kind of like the flesh fiend. Uh, but the Cavern Hydra is actually kind of looking better to me. Well, all right. Let's uh, do Cavern Hydra here. Kill that. And God, these are really good for removal spells, but I, there's nothing to remove. <laughs> Infantry, he just gets really, really big. So let's do that. Flesh Fiend's really good as a response. So let's battle here. Okay, he's down to 72. Ah, a couple of my twos. Awesome. Dead, and these regenerate. Okay, what do you got? On the field, creatures you control. Jason do it at plus two to attack, so that's why she took a little more damage. I don't I don't really know. Everything's so fast. <laughs> Wind Primordial. Oh. Oh, that's cool. You can shift it. Uh, you can shift it down the lane. That's pretty badass. I like that. Um, interesting. So I could probably force it to move. Does it have to move? Once per turn while now, you may move this card to an open space up to one lane away. So basically, I can try to kill this thing. Uh, they won't attack each other this turn, but I could force it to move over, which means it's going to die regardless to itself. Life Shaper Savant. Target creature get plus two attack, plus two health. Uh, Vengeful Spirit <clears throat> is a nice little removal spell. Don't really want to deal with that right now. Um, this would be very good to play, uh, in my opinion, against him. Uh, for the fact of uh, they'll collide, and I can also buff one of my creatures. Um, so I'm going to play her here. When I play a level one card, you may have target creature get... Okay. Um, I don't have any buff spells at the moment. So, uh, I think I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to replace... Uh, see, I don't know. I'd be giving up one attack this turn, but I'd also be replacing it with a better spell. Five health... 10 health, 15 health. The creature isn't all that powerful. So here's what I'm going to do. Replace. Yes. Buff. On. This Hydra. And battle. Bam. And enter. Ow. Oh shit. Okay, you're pretty pretty beefy. Okay. Oh well you took a beating though, so you're you're okay. <laughs> um Yeah, I got the prowler. Sweet, I got breakthrough on this one. Um Echo Wisp, damn it. Okay, that's that's a really good card in the beginning. Uh Enrage, sweet. Here's my buff spell. Alright, um So he'll die to him. 
Uh, so I want to keep him around. So I'll enrage him. Um, he'll live plus... Okay, here's a good idea. He'll live plus he'll regenerate at the end of the turn. It really sucks because I can't... Oh yeah, I also get a buff. Sweet. Um, let's buff. Cavern Hydra. Uh, I can do a second Cavern Hydra here. He'll kill him, and... Uh, I have an idea. <laughs> plus, I want to... Plus, I want to... Plus, I, I want a third level Cavern Hydra. Um, so these guys will all swing it. Well, these guys won't, but he'll swing at him. He'll die, thanks to my buff, I believe. Boop. Yeah, yeah. Play on. What we got? Oh, Scorch Mane, dead. Oh, son, you're looking, you're looking mighty bad. Oh, you're dead. He's dead. He's got 12 health. He's got all these guys coming. Um. <laughs> uh, you're dead. Swing like a bitch. Boom! Player one wins. Okay. Well, it was on easy. Maybe I'll do a medium match at some point. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much the basics of Soul Forge. Um, you just you lay cards down. Uh, the leveled up versions go into the deck, and uh, as you play, you actually get higher levels, so you can play higher level cards, twos and threes, and you pretty much just beat each other's faces in until you are at zero life. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this will spur on a little bit of interest for Soul Forge. I really like this game. There's a lot of strategy to it. As you saw, I had a lot of decisions to make. And um, I, it, it's very interesting. Um, right now, like I said, it's a closed beta and they only have two pre-constructed decks uh, to face each other. Um, there's going to be, I think, five different pre-constructed decks when the game releases, plus booster packs and uh, pretty cool stuff after that. But uh, there's five pre-constructed decks, and I pretty much said that already. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks to Stoneblade Entertainment for letting me do this, um, because, you know, some... I don't know. It, it's nice to ask, because you don't know if someone's going, oh, that's a strike. <laughs> but um, a lot of thanks to them, and hopefully they uh, appreciate uh, a little bit of free advertisement, I guess, if you want to call it that, <laughs> to subscribers. So uh, hopefully there's a little bit of interest. I will play a couple more games uh, just to get a feel for it and maybe do a medium match or two, uh, get spanked, and get embarrassed by the computer. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Crafty and Soul Forge. Take care.